All right, so year one was not what we wanted. We got eliminated in the second round to the Carolina Hurricanes in seven. A little tough to see. So we're looking at the matchups for the um, East and West final. So it's looking like in the East, it's going to be Tampa playing the Carolina Hurricanes. And then it is the Aval or it's the Blues playing the Coyotes who bet the um or who beat the um oilers in seven so we'll simulate the free agency this episode is going to be the draft free agency and see what we have to do um like i said it, it's not really what we wanted from the playoffs we were looking um to obviously get um a stanley cup with this team and uh, looking at the players i'm not sure if i went over this last video captain had himself a playoff run granlin the uh trade deadline acquisition had himself a playoff run uh it was just tough to see us go out in the second round i really thought we could have at least made it to the third if not the final so let's see who's going to be crowned the um the stanley cup winner now john marino is able to play but it doesn't matter we're out of the playoffs um it is what it is so uh, let's see who wins this cup here. So the Tampa Bay Lightning have won it back-to-back. -back. Call them the new Pittsburgh Penguins who won it back-to-back -back a couple years back. So, um, wow, Tampa Bay winning it in 2020 and now winning it in 2021. So their team's obviously a juggernaut. I'm not too surprised by it. Um, yeah, interesting stuff to see. So here are the draft lottery results. I don't think we have any draft picks in the first round because we were pushing to win a cup this year. Um, retired players. Let's see if we have lost anyone. So Hosa's gone. Zetterberg has retired. Gabrick, Chara, Steen, Kessler, Roy, Molson. Has anyone from the Penguins um, retired? No. Okay. So that is good to see. Have any goaltenders retired? Um, no. Okay. So uh, it's good that no one's retired here. Um, the following coaches have retired. Cool. And, uh, wow, retired players that are now a scout, Ryan Kessler, Zetterberg, and Gabrick. No shock there that they'd be doing something after their pro career. Um, I do want to see what this is looking like here. So, the Coyotes, wow, won it in six against the Blues, made it to the finals. The Lightning won it in six, made it to the finals, and the Lightning won it in five. So, the Coyotes had themselves a year, man. Uh, Stanley Cup final appearance, good for them. So, NHL entry draft. I don't think there's much for us to do. I will edit our trade block. Don't know if there's anything we really need to do. I do want to see um, what contracts we have um, expiring so we know what's happening here. So um, it looks like Granlin, uh, it'd be nice to bring him back. He had a great playoff. Um, Eric Stahl, uh, it'd be nice to bring him back. We acquired him in a trade early on in the year as well. Um, all right, Cody Cece, like, this is a guy we could let walk. Sevier, uh, hopefully it's not too much to bring back. Zach Aston Reese is another player who we can bring back. But these guys are replaceable players. If you really think about it, we can go out on free agency and probably get the same players for a little bit cheaper if we really wanted to. Teddy Bluger, Jankowski, Rodriguez, and that's about it. Goaltending now. Uh, we got Tristan Jari locked in for a while. Same with Casey to Smith. We got to figure out our one-two punch for this year. Uh, we did go with the Smith last year, so we're going into this year with him being the starter. So let's edit the trading block here. I mean, we could put Joseph out there. I don't think why would we want to trade him kind of thing. I don't really know who we would want to put out on the block here. Like, uh, these are players we want to keep, but we'll put up Kasperi Kapitan, see what kind of trade value he brings. We'll put up a guy like Gensel, um, Crosby, and Malkin, just to see what kind of trade offers we would get for these guys. Um, not that I'm willing to move on with Crosby or Malkin. I kind of want to win one more cup with those two guys. Um, just so we can say we won it with those two guys. And then once we win it, maybe start blowing up the team. Um, but I just want to see what would happen here. So let's enter the NHL entry draft. And I know if you're a Penguins fan, you probably hate my guts right now. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to check the uh, who won trophies. But Matthews has won the Hart Memorial Trophy. Um, he's won the Art Ross Trophy. Uh, Lafreniere won the Calder. And that is about it. I will go check awards after this. That is my bad for not checking. But Austin Matthews cleaning up there. So to make sure, I'm pretty sure we do not have a pick in the first round here. Um, so that's okay. We will sim to the next round. So pick 105. We are now in the fourth round, man. Um, trade news, though. Um, nothing big there. Silverberg has been dealt actually to the Predators. That's a pretty big deal. The Penguins appear to have tons of interest for Sidney Crosby. We he's on our team. What? 
Okay, anyways, let's go make our pick. That was the dumbest thing I've seen um, in franchise mode. So, um, elite, medium, he's a grinder. Do we need a goaltender? Not necessarily. Um, B reflex, actually, that's a pretty good goaltender. Uh, it wouldn't be bad to take a goaltender there. Um, he's probably our best bet, to be honest, man. We got Brady Burns. Ooh, he's not bad. Uh, not the greatest skating. Pretty good shooting and puck skill. Pretty good hockey sense. Physical defense. Not bad. So Brady Burns is up there. And you know what? Given that we don't really need a goaltender, I kind of want to see how Brady Burns uh, checks out here. He's a two-way forward. Um, he had 63 games played last year. He had 12 goals, 28 assists. He had 50 penalty minutes, which I'm not the greatest fan of or the biggest fan of. Uh, he was a plus 21. Time on ice at 8 to 18-10, uh, so that's not bad. Um, strength, offensive instincts, offensive creativity, uh, playmaking ability, weaknesses, balance, faceoffs, lack of size. Uh, so we could put him on the wing if he if he you know the faceoffs doesn't pan out. 5'10", 153 is really small, so hopefully he bulks up. Um, I think we're going to take him, man. I think uh, that makes sense. We'll make him our pick. Again, I don't think we really needed a goaltender in that situation. So um, we'll definitely take that. So let's sim to our next pick, round five here, um, and see who is available. So this guy's a top nine forward. Not too bad for a center. He's unknown. Fringe starter in Pearson, CCB. Um, unknown. Let me do this here. So we got this guy still up here. And in all honesty, I'm going to take him just because we were looking at him before. I really like his potential here. He played 66 games last year, 33 wins. Uh, he almost had 2,000 saves, a 904 save percentage, a 3.14 goals against average, and, a five, and five shutouts. Um, strength, puck handling, which is good from a goaltender. Breakaway stick usage, which is good. Weakness, angles, rebound control, poise. Something that he could work on, but I, I like his potential here. Um, and what did it say down here? NHL ETA four years. So that's not bad. We will make that pick. Hopefully he becomes something for us in the later years when we're going to have to eventually rebuild this Pittsburgh Penguins team. Round six here. Let's see what's available in round six. Um, all right. So we got a left winger here. Didn't play much. Um, not the greatest. Okay, we'll skip on him. We got another goaltender here, T Tyler Gauthier. Um, BBA, which is better than the last goalie we got. Strengths, angles, puck handling, stick usage, weakness, rebound control. So he doesn't have many re or many weaknesses. Um, 71 games played, 40 wins in those 71 games. He had over two, uh, 2,100 saves, uh, 916 save percentage, 7 shutouts. Not bad. I think 3 years ETA. It doesn't make sense to make two goalies, but it's hard to pass up on a guy with such great grades like that. So we will take that and sim to our next pick here. We have back-to-back -back picks this round, so we can really take our time in this round here. We got Alexander Kondratev. Um, strengths, leadership ability, which I like. Puck protection, offensive instincts. Weakness, foot speed. He's injury prone and he has great agility. Now, when you talk about injury prone, yeah, he only played 13 games last season. Uh, we're probably going to have to pass on that. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. Right, this guy looks interesting. Left winger. Um, he played 65 games last year. He had 14 goals, 31 assists. Not too bad. Um, shooting B minus, puck skill B minus, C, 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 D on defense, which is okay. Um, strength, skating, which is good. He has a hard wrist shot. Agility, uh, weakness, offensive, consistency, balance. I think we're going to go with Brooklyn Kalmikov. Yeah, sounds good. Let's draft him, and then we got another pick to make, which I'm not too sure who we're going to make here. This guy's interesting. Um, he's a defenseman, could play right or left. He's 6'5". Uh, B, an E on puck skill, which isn't great. Sense is a C minus, D, B, D. Um, 54 games played last season. He, was, he had three goals, seven assists, a plus 12, which is pretty good, and initial ETA five years. So we're going to go with Benjamin Road. Why not? What a name. We are now in the seventh round here, looking to make another um, great uh, find here um, in the later rounds. Don't know if we're going to find anyone too, too good, though, this late. When I say that, we find Alexander Doucette. Um, he's a center slash left wing, 5'11". Um, skating is a D, but like he could always work on that. He's 19, you know what I mean? So he has plenty of time to mature with that. Strengths is face-off strength and puck protection, which I like. Weakness, foot speed, defensive consistency, consistency and agility. 
Um, five years is his ETA. I think we're going to go with him. Why not? I think that's a good pick. He can play center or left wing. It's not too bad. So that is it for us from the draft. We will sim the entire NHL draft. I think we made some good um, some good draft choices. We had two, four, six draft choices this year, which wasn't too much. Uh, but it was more than I expected considering the trades we made. So um, not too bad of a draft from us. So now let's head to the uh, to the re-sign stage. All right, so start of the re-sign phase. Uh, we have those six players that we have to get to. So let's see what our priority is for this offseason, how much cap we have as well. So we have $42 million. Man, that is nice. We have a lot of money to work with. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we make... A splash of free agency this year uh, but let's see who we need to have to bring back obviously so bottom six forward like we can wait on these guys these guys we could just qualify in all honesty uh, the RFAs here is something that we want to uh, sign so Rodriguez Weber CC Aston Reese Jankowski Sevier Bluger Granlin so our first our first one is Granlin I do want to bring him back five years though at four mil he's 29 that'll bring him to when he's 34 i would love to bring him back for like a two-year kind of contract um let's see if he'll do two years at three uh 4.35 uh, i don't think that's too bad of a contract eric Stahl, how much are you looking for again two years that's not bad let's see if he'll do two years oh, let's do one year flat and we'll give him what he wants a bit more four mil there so that's eight mil on two players no, let's give him, uh, we'll give him 3975, what he wants there. Um, and then these guys are the guys we drafted. So um, let's see what those two guys say, and then we'll go see what the rest of the contract situation is looking like. Um, all right, these are the coaches that are just whatever. We, we don't really care about the coaches, in all honesty. So Eric Stahl is back with the Penguins, uh, so that is good to see. And so is Mikael Granlin. So the two big players that we wanted to bring back are now back. Um, so big stuff um, there. Goaltending, we don't have anyone to sign. Like Legacy, who's 28, like we can wait on him. Fringe starter, I do want to bring him back. So let's offer him a contract. Uh, let's see if we can give him three years three years at 8.5 we'll offer the guys was this the guy i drafted yeah okay i want to offer him a contract for sure get him going with the penguins organization same with you all right so teddy bluger again these are guys we could bring back in free agency um i don't mind giving him that let's see if we can sign him for a little bit less 1.4 would be nice to bring him bring him back uh jankowski um again these are just one year deals i feel like we could just pick them up in free agency if we need to so i'm gonna do this real quick actually this will make the most sense so we got one two three four five players that can possibly play center so like that's not bad so like bluger we could have said no to let me just look at the wingers here we got one we got one two three and then one two which I think we're fine. Sevier, maybe we bring back just to be safe. But I kind of want to go and make a splash in free agency. That's why I'm kind of like hesitant on offering these guys contracts. These guys here, we're just going to qualify our FAs. Why not? Seventh defenseman. He's only 20, so we might as well sign him. Cody CC. Do we need to bring Cody CC back? I kind of want to give Joseph a shout this year. So we got one, two, three, four five it'd be smart six with rude wheel maybe it would be a little smart to bring cody cc but we can definitely bring him bring someone like him back in free agency worst case you're not worth the money that you want um sure yannick weber he would be a guy to oh yeah i'll gladly bring yannick weber back for that top four medium we'll offer him a contract as well Sevier, again, this is a guy we could bring back in free agency. I don't want to give him two mil. Or Zach Aston Reese, sorry. So we'll release him. Sevier, again, two mil. I'll gladly release you. Evan Rodriguez, I will gladly bring you back for that cheap. Uh, I will gladly bring you back. These are just rookies. Jankowski, how much do you want? Uh, I... Do I mind dishing that out? We can we can pick up a player like that in free agency in all honesty, but we'll offer him the contract. I don't want to release everyone. Goudreau, don't mind if I do. Uh, again, you're not definitely not worth that money in my opinion. 
Um, no problem. Cody CC again. He's a top four defenseman. Two years at 1.6. I don't really want to bring him back in all honesty, so I'm going to release him. These guys, we'll wait for the rest of these guys here. So let's see what happens after that day here. We'll advance it. Although I'm interested in a principal to extension, I'm going to reject this offer at the dollar value. Okay, Rodriguez, no problem. Uh, Teddy Bluger is back. Uh, Jankowski is back. Weber is back. Uh, Curry's back. Goudreau is back. Trauman's back. Um, and now it's just a rookie saying it's an honor to join the Pittsburgh Penguins team. Cool, cool, cool. So Rodriguez, what did we offer him in the first place? Do, does he want an, an easy one mil? We'll give him one year of one mil. Do I really want to do that? Not really. So again, uh, no, we'll give him one mil. If he rejects that, then that's fine by me. I'm not going to bother with him. Uh, we'll qualify the rest of these guys here. Not a problem. I think that's all the UFAs. Okay. Um, and then who did we draft? We drafted Burns. Let's get him a three-year contract. And that's it. Okay. So free agency was fairly simple this year. Okay, Rodriguez, you're not going to get an extension with us then. I'll tell you that much. So not too bad. We're heading into free agency now. Uh, Lindgren's back. All right. I think those were the UFAs we qualified, some of them at least. All right. So let's see who's out there in free agency, how much we have to spend, and, uh, yeah, who are the big names out here on this block. So Jaden Schwartz is a big name. He only wants 2.8 mil. Um, interesting. He is 29, though. Didn't have a great year last year. We got Bufflin, um, Bertuzzi, which is interesting. Ooh, okay. Tyler Bertu Bertuzzi, uh, Krejci, Steele, Jalmerson, uh, Geslav, Nugent Hopkins. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I like the Nuge there. Hoffman, Neil Pionk. Interesting. All right, there's a lot of names out here. and We're going to have to kind of decide what we want to do. Zach Hyman's also in free agency. we got to decide what we want to do. Goaltending, Tuka Rask is out there. Um, don't think I would want to mess with him. Freddie Anderson, okay. Um, he wants 5.2 mil. So there's a lot of good free agents. we got to see what's going to go on with our team here. So, like, we can really... Seven... We can go out and get a right winger. Defenseman is probably the one place we want to bulk up on. So maybe we go for a defenseman. So we got Latang, Marino. That's one, two, three, four. And then five with Joseph. So maybe it would be the smarter thing to go out and sign a good defenseman. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Neil Pionk is very interesting to me. We got Ryan Murray out there. Uh, we got Sammy Vadden and Dennis Savard. Now, the only reason why Pionk is standing out to me is he's only 25. Um, he had a pretty decent year last year with Winnipeg. Eight goals, 31 assists. Only two penalty minutes was a, 30, a plus 31. He's a top four defenseman, which would help out our top four. Um, I'm just trying to think if Joseph progresses, do we keep Pionk on the top four? I think we do. Uh, I'm going to try and go out and get him. So he wants four years. We don't have enough. We only have 3.5 mil to spend. Um, so that's an issue. I thought we had way more cap than that. I'm not sure if I'm totally sold on Yannick Weber. So maybe we go see if we can afford a top six defenseman. Because um, our forwards are 100% fine. So looking at a top six with the salary that we can afford. Travis Hamnick is available. We could barely afford him though. He's 30. Didn't have the greatest year last year. Um, he's a top four, but he could definitely play a top six role. Uh, we got Forbert. Uh, Jacob McCabe, 27. That's not bad. Travis Hamnick is 30, and he wants two years. Jacob McCabe's a little younger. He's a top six guy. Um, better than Yannick Weber, I want to say. He's a very well-rounded personality. Mesh meshes well with anyone in the room, which is huge. Um, so maybe we go out and try to get a Jake McCabe. Um, I'm kind of sold on him. Travis Hamnick would be nice. Um, he's a top four defenseman, so like he could pan out to play top four minutes if he if we really needed him to. Uh, just an all around good person in the locker room tends to keep to himself. Fits the following line: top four defensive pairing. Um, yeah, so we can't even afford him with what he wants. Now, do we risk lowballing him and then Jake McCabe is gone? Um, you know what? Let's do it. We'll give him a two year, a 3.5. That's all of our cap. I know it's not the smartest thing to do. I doubt he 
accepts it. So we'll wait, and uh, we're, we're really playing our hand here, and we're hoping that Jake McCabe is still available if he um, declines. Um, so nothing yet from him. We're getting these trades that we don't really care about here. Um, yeah, okay, no, that's fine, guys. We don't want draft picks. Wow, Travis Hamannick. Okay, I did not expect that. So that is a huge acquisition for us, actually. Hamannick is coming over to the Pittsburgh Penguins on a two-year deal at $3.5 million. He's extremely happy to accept the offer. So, And he thinks he has a lot to add to the team that's destined for a good run in the playoffs. He knows exactly what I'm aiming for. All right, so it is time to edit the lines here. Um... Okay, so let's see what we can do with these overalls here. All right, so this is what I put together for the start of next season. Now, if you guys have any other suggestions to get better plus overalls in the comments, leave them below, and I will fix up the lines. But this is what we're going with to rock the season, to start off the season. We're going to have Eric Stahl playing with Evgeny Malkin and Jake Gensel. Second line will be Zucker with Crosby and Kapanen, a fan of this line. Um, then the third line will be Brandon Tanev, Mikael Granlin, and Jared McCann. Now, I'm not too happy about McCann playing um, third line minutes. He just doesn't fit on the second line, unfortunately. Um, so it's just what we're going to have to go with for the time being. And then on the fourth line, we got Teddy Bluger, Jankowski, and Rust. This is a line where uh, we could probably make it a little bit better to get a plus overall, but not a bad overall, um, you know, fourth line. Now, defense this, is, defense, this is where it gets interesting. we got Pedersen playing with Crystal Tang and no plus overalls. They don't really need it. That's our top pairing. They'll be fine. Our second pairing will get a plus one. So we got Travis Hamannick at an 82, Matheson at an 81, and then a plus one on, these, on this third pairing with Joseph and John Marino. So that's the best I could do for defense-wise here. Uh, not too bad, so it's looking pretty good. Special teams we did pretty good with. We got a plus one on the power play units here. Four man, we couldn't get any pluses, but it's fine with the overalls that are on here. On the PK, I was able to get a plus three on the top units, so we should be killing penalties pretty good. And then a plus one on the last line. So the team's looking pretty good. We're ready to start next season, in all honesty. Um, let me make sure all the captains are set good. Malkin, Crosby, and it should be Christopher Latang. Beautiful. So everything is set up. We're done with that. We're heading into next season, starting with the preseason. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for the lines to get better plus overalls, do let me know. It's obviously something that we can fix within the season if we see things not going right. So that's definitely a thing. And let's turn off injuries so that's sorted out for next video. But that is it for today's GMO. Next episode, we start off year two with the sim.